But he doesn't stop because he loves me. Brick after brick, I feel my bones crushing under the weight. I call out, stop! I've had an idea. Top, tip, top. What are you waiting for? You can hear it ticking. Each tick tock is a waste of time. Your time! Tick tock, tick tock. My heart was beating in time with the clock. I was so calm and collected. In the face of a momentous task like this, although each tick pushed me closer, closer, tick tock, tick tock, the world still spinning. The stars keep shining and the clock keeps ticking. And then he was gone. The next day, as I walked to my job at the school, I saw Bonnie stood alone, crying, obviously waiting for someone. Me. She told me I deserved to know. She told me Richard was dead. She told me it would have been safe if it hadn't have happened. She told me it was the 8th of June, 1940. She told me he was in the Pacific Ocean on HMS Arctic. We would like to play truth or dare. He would say truth or dare. I would always say dare. This time it went too far. He said, I dare you to go and film inside of the witch's shop. you're alone. But you don't really believe that you're alone. Sometimes it's just your imagination playing tricks on you. But when you believe that you are alone at night and the moon is covered with clouds that pitch the world into what seems like eternal but who could blame her? How would you feel? But no! Oh, she's here again! How is she here? I did as you asked! I did everything you told me! I'm dead, aren't I? We, we weren't that sort of family. But we found a key to this attic and... Well, it's our place to play, just for us. We were looking for something to play with. That's when she found it. She found it. She found the match. It's her fault. She said, I dare you. Come on, I dare you. It was a joke. I didn't mean it seriously. Didn't mean it seriously? You screamed it repeatedly. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. 